Hey YouTube, we're back with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the market in FIFA 23, and I'm going to give you three, yeah, three right here, one, two, three, really easy ways you can trade in FIFA 23. FIFA 23 hasn't really started how most of us assumed or thought. I know you guys might've watched my first videos about starting and how to get coins, and just like most YouTubers put out, put out it became kind of irrelevant once EA changed the advanced SBCs to untradeable, and that was a change no one really expected and it's caused a lot of shift in the market. So what I mean by that is basically people are starting with significantly less coins because if you're going through and you're doing hybrid leagues and hybrid nations, they're very, very expensive. I believe hybrid leagues is like 50k to complete all of it and you, get, you do get a 100k pack in return for completing the whole set and some packs along the way. But keep in mind, when you're submitting liquid coins into untradeable cards, in a way you're losing coins and losing buying power. So there's not as many cards on the market, and we all don't get that huge initial boost to start with. So I know a lot of you guys watching this video are either just going to get the game on Friday or got it Ultimate Edition or struggling to make coins. I run polls pretty consistently, and it says that most people right now are sitting at zero to 100,000 coins. So if that's you, don't feel bad at all, but that's what this video is intended for. And I'm going to show you some really simple ways you can make coins and some that will be especially pertinent to Friday when new people get the game, okay? So first off, I love this method right here. It's really easy. It's not very competitive, and I'm going to walk you through why it works. So... I actually talked about this a little bit in one of my starter videos, but this one is still relevant luckily. So I'm gonna go to bronzes in the MLS here in center mid. This is this fills a position for those starter SBCs, okay, where you need multiple nations and one league, okay? The MLS fits that criteria. So for the MLS, the main nation in it, of course, is gonna be the US, but it has a lot of different nationality. There's Canada, there's Germany, there's Costa Rica, there's, look at all that. I know my flags, I'm just showing off here, but I'm gonna press compare price on him and you'll see that because they're helpful for those starter SBCs, these guys hold a ton of value. So look at that, look at that, get him. Look at that, look at that. So this guy I got for 250 coins and that was perfect for this video. And it looks like he's gonna sell upwards of 2000 coins. Yeah, 2000 coins. So. There you have it. There you go. Step one. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for something other than US at center mid in the, uh, in the MLS. And if you find that, all you have to do is compare price and then you can start bidding on all those ones that were up as well. So all of these were up and I'd, I could bid up to like 900 coins on them, 800 coins. This works really good late at night if you guys are from Australia or stay up late from the UK. And I'll try to flip them immediately. There's no like science to it or anything like that. It's honestly just really simple. It's I see as lowest by now as 2,000 coins or 2,500 coins. I'll bid up to 1,000 coins, maybe 1,500, and I'll make those small margins. This one I got a snipe at at 250, which is crazy, and maybe he'll sell on the video as well, and I'm going to list him at like 2,200. So that's 10 times your coins, and for a lot of you guys, that is absolutely massive, and there just proves it works. It's not very competitive, so what you want to look for is like if you're in the EFL leagues as well, Right, so I'll show you one more example. If you're in the EFL leagues, what you want to look for is non English center mids, left mids, and right mids. So let's go, let's go right here, and we can do CM again, it works with bronze as well. Let's check it out here. So Connor, he might sell for a little bit, probably not too much. I think this one has quite a few center mid options in it, but like this guy again sells for 400. And what I would do is I would try to win a bunch of these at like 150 and list them for 400 and they will sell 400, 500 and you can lazy list them. I always tell my discord this, but in these types of example guys, people will see a nationality that's not common, right? Like this, I don't know this flag, is it Algeria or something? Tunisia, <laughs> they'll see a nationality like this and they'll just buy it now and they'll probably pay upwards of 400, 500 for it, but I would take all of these for 150 and list them up for 500. I promise you, I guarantee you will get sales there, okay? And then I'll show you a couple more here on the left mid spot, right mid. And this is a perfect example. I know this dude sells. I've already traded him with this year. You guys see my coin total now is at 2.5 million. I'm closer to three, 3 million, maybe three and a half million coins right now. But I started using this method. So I know for a fact it works. And that's what's great. I start road to glory just like you guys. And I know this stuff works. I'm not just trying to talk you through it or guess. It really works. Some of it's a grind, but it does work. Okay, he works good. Samoa's works good too. 
Looks like his lowest buy now is around 1.5K. You could either snipe him or look for him on bids. And someone's trying to price fix him there at like 2,400, but yeah, he's like 1.5K. I could bid up to 1,000 and uh, make some good profit on him too. So those are just some examples. This guy would work great too, Lubala. He's probably 1.5K as well. Let's check it out. But yeah, you guys should get the point now. So there's tons of options. This filters are too widespread. It's not going to get hyper competitive. And even if I tell all you guys, you'll all have some good luck with it, okay? Let's check it out here. I was trading with some heroes. You might have seen that on my screen, but I was trading with some heroes, a sun, whatever. Um, we can start to move into that bigger budget stuff after. So that's method one. That's just trading with bronzes and silvers. You are looking for uncommon nationalities in center mid, left mid, and right mid in those smaller leagues, okay? Next thing I want to show you is mass bidding, and I'll give you a couple filters as well. This one's a super grindy technique, but it's going to work super duper well whenever there's supply. So there's already been two really good examples of this, and there's another one upcoming. But the servers crashed the other day, and they were down for like three or four hours. So what happened was when FIFA players came back online, they listed all their cards for an hour at a time. Okay, so we had literally almost the entire market expiring all within a small period, and this left so many deals open. So I'm going to give you a filter that I know works right now, and it's going to be left mid, league one, gold common. Okay, I'm going to search for the lowest by now. I think it's like 500 coins or something. If it's under that, okay, maybe we'll have to adjust, but I think it's 500 coins. Yeah, it's at 450, 500. And I would just bid 300, 350 coins on that. I would list all the cards I want at 500. Again, if you're filling up 100 transfer list space, you will get sales and you'll get sales all day. And that's what you need to do to build up that coin total. You need to build it up. I think this one was working the other day too. Let me check it out. English, Prem, Left Mid, Gold Common. And there are about 500 coins, maybe 400. Yeah, perfect. So I would bid up to like 350 coins on them, list them at 500 again. You'll get sales all day. They're helpful for SBCs, but if you're bidding up to 350 and selling for 500, you'll get like 10 or 15 sales an hour, make a K or two, and that's how you build your budget. It's not super fun, or it's not super fun, but it will get you coins and it will slowly accrue them, okay? I want to show you one more thing for mass bidding. This is going to be really helpful on Friday when everyone gets the game. There's probably going to be promo packs for one to watch, so I want you to keep this in mind. There's some players that are really, really helpful for SBC solutions, and there's only so many you can use this year because of positions. They're kind of hard to complete. I'm sure a lot of you guys use Footbin for it, but Bartra is one of these cards that I do like to bid on. He tends to work pretty well, so right now his lowest by now is like 1.7k. So what I would do is I would just start searching the market for him, and you can snipe him as well. And I would just bid like 1.4, 1.5K on him, instantly list him up, okay? Some of the cards you'll probably win at 14, 1500. Other of them, especially when there's supply, you'll probably win at like 900 coins, 800 coins. And if you're doing that over time, you're going to accrue a lot of coins that way, especially if you get some deals. You can also snipe them. Lots of different options as you see. He's really helpful in SBC, so he retains his value really well. The other thing that I like about using a card like Bartra is he fluctuates up and down throughout the day, okay? Right now, it looks like he's like 1.6K, but other times during the day, I know he sells closer to 2K, so... If I'm mass bidding and I win some cards around 1,400 coins, I might list them all day at 2,000 coins and eventually he will sell there. And if you're winning at 1.4, selling at 2K, that is a perfect margin to get you like your first 50 or 100,000 coins. So those are the three methods I wanted to kind of talk about today. Mass bidding, I gave you two different approaches. I gave you some filters to use and that works well, or specific cards and that works well too. And then hopefully trading those bronzes or silvers works good for you guys as well. If this video helped you out, drop a like, subscribe if you're new here. Another one coming soon. See you next time.